B was my first, okay? Whore. <laughs> <laughs> you could start by telling our story. I could, yeah. Hello everybody, today I am going to be doing another tag video. The video I am doing today involves me being blindfolded and someone else reading the first sentence out of a book and then I guess what that book is. Now to tell you a little bit about this person before she comes into frame, her name is Heather and she has been my best friend for 12 years, which makes her feel very, very old. And I get great pleasure out of making her feel old, so I mention it as often as I possibly can. She managed to buy my friendship 12 years ago, a whole 12 years, with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and carrot sticks. Might I introduce Heather Bear? Hola, como estas? <laughs> I moved to Oklahoma. We forgot that there was a field trip that day, so I had no money for lunch and no packed lunch to eat while we were at the roller rink. And Heather here saw me kind of sitting off by myself crying and shared her food with me, and we've been best friends ever since. And I was poor, so I had to pack my own lunch, so that worked out. Alright, so the rules for this challenge is that Heather has to blindfold me, and we do have this nice pretty scarf here of Heather's for me to be blindfolded with. Um, she's picked, uh, Lee has found a few books off of my shelves from home, I brought them here, and Heather has narrowed it down a bit further as to which books she wants to read to me. The rules for this game is that she's going to read the first sentence of the book that she's picked out, and I'm going to try and guess what it is. If I can get it, I get three points. If I have to ask her to read the second page, or the second sentence, then I get two points. If I have to ask her to read the third sentence, I get three or one point. And as a last resort, I can have her read the very last sentence in the book, and I would only get half a point for that. Writing's gotten better. Thanks! <laughs> so, I created a board. Thanks, points. I have horrible handwriting. Don't knock it. This is the book I've chosen. Let's see how she does. Michael Havel pulled his Michael battery. Michael Havel. It Havel. is, yeah, Havel. That is a some Sterling book, which Lee actually made me read. I don't know the name of the book. I do, but I can't remember what it is. But it's like, I don't think I'm going to get this one. Do you want to try it a second sentence? <laughs> no. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it on the first sentence. You're going to miss a lot of books. I know. I hate that you got this, picked this one, though. Hey, Lee picked it first. I know he did, and I gave him permission. Do you want me just to say it? Yeah, because I'm not going to get it. Dies, dies the, the fire. fire. There it is. See, I knew so, I knew it. So, dies the fire is dies zero points. Fire. It is. Chapter one. Chapter one. The rabbit had been run over minutes before. This involves bringing the rabbit back to life. I'm going to guess that it's Lyral by Garth Nix. <coughs> no? No, it's not Lyral. It's not? Oh, that's right. That's because it's Sabril. It's the first book, not the second book, which is really weird in this trilogy because the first book could as well be a standalone book. Whatever. <laughs> I graduated did. college with summa cum laude. I suck it. <laughs> you still got a lower <laughs> driver's end grade than I I don't did. care. <laughs> Hey, I can take great pleasure in that. It's the one class I got a higher grade than you in. Chapter one. Okay, one thing sure, Beatrice said wryly as she wrapped the squalling, wriggling baby tightly in the fine cotton sheet his mother had woven for just this moment. He's got your lungs patirin here. I've got to make Marilyn more comfortable now. Are you sure I've read this book? I'm, you'd have to ask Lee that one. I'm assuming you have. Uh huh. I can't say why I'm assuming you have, but I'm assuming you have. I don't know. Next sentence. Next sentence. The howling baby, his face brick red with exertion, tiny fist clenched, was deposited into his alarmed father's arms. I have no idea. Jiggling the babe as he had seen other fathers do, Petiran carried him to the window to get a look at his firstborn. I, 
I literally have no idea. Maybe you have it right there. I don't know. I don't it's not the gunslinger, is it? No, it's no, not. No, okay, I didn't think so. Um, Do you want me to read the last sentence of the book? Yeah, let's read the last sentence in the book. Then he looked past the others, the dining tables in the hall, and asked wistfully, there wouldn't be any decent wine, would there? <sighs> Sounds like Jack Sparrow. <laughs> no idea. Anne McCaffrey, the mass, master harper of Pern. Ah, uh, his story. Yeah. A, a replacement book for them. Please. No, no replacement book. This is but it. This is terrible. Well, it... Oh, well, that's not fair. This, she's going to get this right away. Yay! That's not fair. I need that. I can't I can't even say it. It's, it's too easy. Do it. Aragon knelt in his bed and trampled the green grass and scanned the tracks with practiced eyes. Aragon! Oh, I needed those points! Hey! She's got five. Last one, I don't know if you can see it. I remember vividly the day I walked away from the city of my birth, the city of my people. Second sentence. All the under dark lay before me, a life of adventure and excitement with possibilities that lifted my heart. Under dark, under dark, under dark. That's what gives it away, but I don't. Under dark. Under dark. <laughs> All the under dark. I under can't dark talk now. Under dark. Okay, dritzed. Ha! Huh. That's why it was giving it away. It's a dritz book. Which dritz book is it? I am going to guess that it is exile. Uh, yes! I'm almost gonna give it away too. This isn't fair. You're getting off By the way, close. by the way, we are currently playing this game in her closet. We're in her closet together. It's where my bookshelf is, but whatever. I need the points! <sighs> I don't even want to read it. Mr. and Mrs. does. Dursley of number four private drive were proud to say that they were perfectly normal. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. <laughs> Apparently she can finish it too. What is it, Meg? It is the first Harry Potter uh, book, Sorcerer's Stone. I was about to say movie, incorrect. Movie! But it's not too crazy. Stop looking at me like that. Turn around, face forward. Okay. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of good Grimpton fortune must be in want of a wife. Yeah, she knows this. Pride one. and Prejudice, my favorite romantic book of all time. And I just realized I probably forgot to show you guys. Sorry. I wake with his name in my mouth. For sentence. Oh, that's that's, that's <laughs> it. That's, that's oh, it. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Actually, you guys. Okay, let's do it this way. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna need more than that. You want the next sentence? Yeah. <laughs> well. Well. I wake with this name in my mouth. Well. Next sentence is well. If there's a there is a period after <laughs> well, this word. Really crappy. All I can think mm -hmm. of is Will Herondale, um, from the Clockwork Princess series. The problem is, is I don't. I think I only have the first book. The problem with that being, I don't remember which ones are going which order. <laughs> so I'm going to guess Clockwork Prince. Eh. Angel. It's Clockwork Angel. Still wrong. It's Princess? No. <laughs> All right, give me the third sentence. Before I open my eyes, I watch him crumble to the pavement again. Crumble. Do you want me to run oh, them all together? Oh, that will. <laughs> okay. Insurgent by Veronica Roth. Up to 14. Then I can't use this one. Can I use it for a while? No. You're going to get this one. I don't care. Actually, I you won't. Them. You won't. You won't. Okay, no. There's a whole. You won't. Okay. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm failing. The loss of her husband had been profound effect on Angeline Fowl. Okay, so it's Artemis Fowl. Um, my favorite. Well, no, probably one of my favorite book series. 
Mm-hmm. Harry Potter too. Mm-hmm. I love Artemis Fowl. We love Artemis Fowl together, and it's gotten to the point where I can read that Gnomish, which I think Heather can be able to show you from that book. Um, I can actually just read it almost like English. So. We used to use it in uh, what seventh grade? Seventh grade? You we seventh would talk grade. about the substitute teacher and mm-hmm. Gnomish in a letter. In a you note, know, when would people would it. actually pass notes and not text. And we would pass it, and she caught us one day, and she looks <laughs> over my shoulder and goes, "You well, that looks no. pretty." Yeah, it's like, are you? And then just, yeah, gibberish. Is, you know, well, she just not thought gibberish. I was drawing, I think. I don't know, but we were talking about her. She <laughs> wasn't a very nice substitute. <laughs> no, she wasn't. All yeah. right. So Angelina Fowl is in distress. Yes. Um, Ish. Yeah. He's back, so it's not going to be the first one. It's not the second one. I know it's not the third one. I know the third one very well. Actually, it could be the second one. What is it? I think I'm going to go with Arctic Incident. Ding, ding. Yes! Woo! I didn't expect her to get that one. I'm excited about this one. Oh, you guys need to know what it is. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> you sound like you're giving him scrap. Nothing that had been done to him over the past nine years had hurt as much as the harsh truth that he had brought this on himself. Crap. I need the second sentence. <laughs> With one air in judgment, the 18-year-old boy, uh, he had been that young, strutting buck who had been so sure of himself had sit him down this pain-filled road. Should I know this one? Would you know this one? I can't say. Which either means yes or no. Which no, does not no. help you. <laughs> no. Which um, is the point. Nine years, 18, shredding back. Yeah. <laughs> Give me the third sense. I wrote, oh, you look so sad. It's okay, Maggie Poo, it's okay. <laughs> a road that would soon end in the brutality that waited for men in the salt mines of Pruel? P-R-U. Pruel. P-R-U. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna go with Pruel. Oh. Okay, this is, I think it's, oh, which which one is it? It's from the Dark Jewels trilogy, which Heather ended up donating to the library where I picked it up. Heather doesn't like the fact that the library put her name in this book series. Um, so the main character, the character I was talking about there is Lucifer, um, by Ann Bishop, Dark Jewels. Uh, I'm going to guess as one of the, I know that it's one of the original trilogy because after the trilogy he's nowhere near the salt mines of Prue's, of Prue. Um, I know that, for, I'm going to go with Daughter of Blood. <coughs> no? And it's heir to the shadows. What? What? <laughs> Queen of Darkness. It's the only other option. You're wrong. That, that's all it can be. No. 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 Yeah. No. That's not what it is. Didn't you get it though? How many points did you get off? I don't know. I I only at one point right now as it is. Well, huh, doing the last sentence isn't gonna help you at all. Probably not, no. Okay, you want me to give you a hint and you'll go to have a point? Sure. Okay. The hint is I attempted to read this book and could not get through it because I did not like. Is the invisible ring? Yeah. How could it be the invisible ring? I don't know, it just is. Lucifer's not even in the. I tried to read this book because my sister gave it to me. Oh. Along with the whatever trilogy she's talking about. Oh. I don't like exotic books. Oh. So I get halfway through and figure out where the ring goes. There's a slave in and this one, and he could be going to the same place that Lucifer goes in the trilogy. Could be because I remember happen, the slave. They happen a couple hundred years apart. I, I remember oh. the slave. But yeah, so I got like halfway through and was like, oh. I can't read the rest of this. And then I donated it to the library without signing anything or anything. I literally just like handed them a bag of books. And we lived in a small town, so needless to say, they knew my name. And they put my name in this box, so great. They did? Yeah. I rip out half of your hair. <laughs> no kidding. Oh, wait, I need to add that. How many, how many, um... A two, I got two. So, she rounds out with... Drumroll, please. 
29 points! <sighs> 29 out of a potential... What is it? 15 times 3, Meg. Yeah, 15, 45. To edit all 40 minutes of ah. this video down to a you know, reasonable amount. Just so you guys know. Why? Well, scoot a little. I am wearing shorts. I am not in underwear in Heather's closet. But I'm in pajama pants. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> Check it out. I think that's all we have for you tonight. Um, yeah. Yeah. Bye.